If there was a healthy way to eat more food, absorb fewer calories, and lose weight as a result, all without cutting out or limiting any foods, would you do it? Today I'm going to tell you how based on scientific studies. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I'm a full-time research scientist with my PhD, and by day I conduct and publish studies of my own, whereas by night I share the results of other studies here to help you reach your weight loss, fitness, health, and nutrition goals. And this video request is thanks to one of our patrons over on Patreon, and I am starting a new goal where once we hit 50 patrons over there, I want to start doing Q&A videos where I take your questions and then do a video answering a bunch of them. So if you are interested in contributing to that, check out the Patreon, which is in the description below. And now to answer the question of how to absorb fewer calories from your food, I'm going to start by briefly going over a study that shows just how powerful this can be. And this study put people on two diets, one at a time for two weeks each in a random order. And one of these diets was unprocessed foods, so whole foods in their natural-ish form, like whole fruits and vegetables and grains and whatnot. And the other diet was an ultra-processed diet, so highly processed foods similar to what a lot of Americans and people on a Western diet eat on a daily basis. And the researchers generally tried to match these diets on macronutrients, so fat and protein and carbs, as well as fiber by adding a fiber supplement to the processed food diet. And they put these participants in a metabolic chamber to measure their energy expenditure and found that by the end of the study, all the participants on both diets were eating more calories than they burned. So they were all eating above maintenance calorie level and should have gained weight. And unsurprisingly, they found that in the processed food group, participants gained about two pounds over the course of two weeks. But the unprocessed diet group actually lost two pounds in two weeks despite eating more calories than they burned. So how did that happen? What was the difference between the processed food and the unprocessed food diet that made people gain weight in one and lose weight in the other despite both eating more calories than they burned? I think the most popular explanation for this would have been, well, obviously the processed food people ate more sugar and that's what made them gain weight. But actually, the unprocessed diet had a higher proportion of calories coming from sugar than the processed diet and pretty much all of that sugar came from fruit in the unprocessed diet group, and so there was a lot of fructose being eaten. So it was not sugar or fructose that can explain why the unprocessed group lost weight. Another explanation that would be popular given the public narratives going around out there would be, well, the processed group must have been eating less protein and less fat, and they must have been eating more carbs. But no, the researchers matched the macronutrients very well between these two diets. Well, what about fiber? The researchers tried to match these groups on fiber intake, but ultimately the source and type of fiber kind of had to differ just based on how the diets differed. So the processed food diet got their fiber mostly from soluble fiber that was added as a supplement to their diet, whereas the unprocessed food group was getting their fiber from fruits and vegetables and whole grains and legumes and got a lot more insoluble fiber than the processed food group. But how could eating more fiber in your diet cause you to lose weight while eating more calories than you burned? Well, it turns out there's a ton of studies out there that are pretty much never being talked about showing that eating fiber actually binds calories in your gut and reduces the amount of metabolizable energy you get from your food. So the number of calories you can actually absorb and turn into energy and turn into fat on your body. For example, one study found that eating 20 grams of fiber, which is about the RDA on average, caused people to lose 250 calories. And this keeps increasing as your fiber intake increases. So when people were made to eat 50 grams of fiber, which is actually very feasible, I get around 50 grams without trying per day, people lost 400 calories just from eating that fiber because the fiber bound up those calories and prevented them from digesting them. And you may be thinking, wait, how did the researchers know people lost these calories and didn't absorb them? Could it just be that they burned more calories overall or something? Well, the researchers actually measured the calories that came out of people by taking fecal samples and measuring the amount of calories contained in those fecal samples. And they could directly see right there that people were losing a lot of calories because of this fiber they were eating. And fiber doesn't discriminate. It'll bind up calories from any source, including fat. So if you eat fiber along with a fatty meal, it will help you absorb less of that fat. And the studies find that both soluble and insoluble fiber have this effect of being able to bind up calories. But based on that first study I talked about, it seems like there may be something particularly special about the presence of insoluble fiber, because all these studies that have looked at this have had people eating fiber through their diet, not through supplements. And when you're eating fiber through your diet, you're pretty much always going to get a combination and a good amount of insoluble fiber in there. 
So tentatively, I'm saying if you want to get these effects, then do be sure you are having insoluble fiber in addition to soluble fiber. And as another bonus for weight loss, fiber makes you feel fuller and more satiated, so you will actually want to eat fewer calories in the first place. And then now what we've learned from today's studies is that fiber will also make you absorb less of the calories that you do eat. So it's really a win-win for weight loss. When I posted about this video in advance over on Patreon, one of our patrons asked an excellent question that I'm sure is on a lot of your minds as well. And that is, if fiber binds up calories and makes us absorb fewer calories, does it also make us absorb fewer micronutrients like minerals? And that is a very good question that I will be answering in next week's video. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below so you don't miss that. So for this video's takeaways, if you want to boost your weight loss or join me in the land of effortlessly maintaining a low weight, then adding a fiber to your diet could be a great way to do this. And it doesn't have to involve any limiting foods or cutting foods out or any restriction of any kind or obsessing over macros. All you have to do is eat more unprocessed plant foods not necessarily less of anything else. So that's things like legumes, whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. And eating these foods is well known to be good for your health, so really it's a win-win all around. Also, if you're interested in getting the details and the full breakdown on that study I mentioned at the beginning on processed versus unprocessed foods, then check out my full video on it here. It's an old one where I sat outside for it and the wind was pretty terrible, so I am thinking of doing a reshoot of it soon and trying to get it shorter. So let me know if you'd be interested in that in more of an updated current video with hopefully new studies if there are more out there that are solid on processed versus unprocessed food diet effects. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in that. And if you would like to help guide what topics I cover here and what details I include in my video, as well as vote and know video topics in advance and get text summaries of every video so you can easily get the key takeaways, then head on over to my Patreon, which is in the description below. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, once we hit critical mass over on Patreon with 50 patrons, that should provide us with enough regular and variable questions to be able to start doing Q&A videos, which I am very excited about. So if you'd like to get involved in that, then head on over to the Patreon. And if you find my videos helpful or interesting and you want to help support me in making them, in addition to the Patreon, there is the GoFundMe for one-time donations, which I very, very much appreciate. It really means a lot to me. And if you like this video, please like it and share it so that other people can get this information and learn about how powerful fiber can be for absorbing calories. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below to stay up to date on all this science. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.